Good day everyone and welcome to Exile News, the weekly show that brings you all the important news and information on Path of Exile. And the first news we got this week are three pieces of concept art for the new acts coming with the 3.0 expansion. First one is a statue featuring Solaris and Lunaris fighting between themselves and players will get to see this statue in Act 8 which I guess is going to be in a different zone from the normal Act 3 progression. Which is going to be pretty good. And then we got uh, an image of Innocence. And this might be one of the windows uh, you get to see on the fight in Act 5. Probably not going to be there in Act 10, because I think the last fight in Act 10 is going to be completely different. But still we'll have to see. And the last piece is uh, a concept art for Kitava's Feast which is a unique two-handed mace, it's been in the game for a while and you can see the X, cross and the skull which are kind of the symbols of Kitava. And we also got some more answers from the developers Q&A which uh, happened like two weeks ago, three weeks ago right now. And yeah, there's again, there's a lot of answer to many questions, some of those are quite interesting, uh, others just aren't really that interesting, but still, uh, if you got some time, I recommend you giving a, lo giving a look, giving a read, because it's always nice to see uh, some of the background on GGG and how some of the concepts for the game were born. And we also got some Legacy League statistics, and uh, these times, instead of being about the challenges, are about League Stones. So, as you can see, uh, the most commonly used normal League Stones are Breach, Perandus, Nemesis, Ambush, Bloodlines, Anarchy and then the other ones. It's really not surprising because these are the most rewarding ones. Also, as far as Magic Listons go, Breach again, Perandus again, Ambush again, Anarchy, Bloodlines, I mean the best leagues are very very clear from this differentiation here. Uh, I am actually surprised that Stalisman is so high on the list, I personally just don't use it because it will just cobble up my inventory as well as my stash, so if you don't have too much stash you don't really want to use Stalisman. Uh, some of this problem might be met with Essence as well, although they actually have uh, an Essence tab so you can kind of uh, go around that, but still uh, GGG say they're surprised with Breach being so high, considering it was the main league bef just before Legacy started. But I'm really not surprised. Breach uh, is actually pretty good. There's a lot of fight going on. There's a lot of good things that can happen from there. And it doesn't fill up your inventory with bullshit items. So it's pretty good overall. Perandus, obviously, it's very rewarding as well. And then, of course, Ambush, Anarchy, Bloodlines. Nemesis as well, everything adding more monsters or particular monsters which have good drops. So it's it's really, really not surprising. I don't know what GG is surprised about from coming from this. But still, uh, hopefully they'll just tailor the new leagues which will come to be something like Breach, Perandus and the other top tier leagues. We also got a community showcase, it's been a while since we got one and uh, finally GGG uh, came through with some more. First one is uh, the actual crafting of an Exalted Orb, a pretty nice process, recommend you like checking it out. Some music, there's a drum and bass, POE Nightmare, some 3D art, more music, as uh, always some fan art which is always good and more fun art as well, I personally really really like this style here, uh, just my own judgement anyway, and some interesting uh, unique wallpaper style, which uh, I mean if you've been on reddit in the past week or so, you've probably already seen all of those, but if you haven't I highly recommend checking this post out, I'll put the link as always in the description below. And. As a last piece of news, we also got a developer interview with Rachel, which is from the customer support. And customer support is something that doesn't really get any attention ever from any game. So it's pretty good and pretty interesting that GGG actually uh, gives them some voice. 
NGGG is really renowned for having one of the best customer supports out there. So if you're interested in how that happens and what's going on, I definitely recommend reading this out. Uh, this is just, of course, um, the outline of a workday and something more about that. But uh, it's definitely interesting. And again, the customer support role is definitely not for everyone. You really need a lot of patience and to be a kind of a special kind of soul to just uh, take all of the requests from the people and answer them uh, without insulting anyone, which definitely would happen if I were in their place. But still, that's why they're working there and that's why they're so good. So definitely recommending reading all of this. And yeah, that was all for this week. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like and a comment down below. Also, if you want to remain updated every week, be sure to subscribe to my channel. So that was all, I've been your host Zordon, and I'll see you guys the next time.